Well, good morning. I mean, the good thing is uh, the positive out of this is that for the moment, at least, the police are not right, treating not this as a terrorist incident. Uh, yeah. What they are doing, of course, is now delving into the background of this individual to find out exactly who the person is, what their motivation might have been, and whether they're connected to any other people who might be planning something similar or something worse. Uh, and, of course, listening to Michael there and watching both Michael and, da and Jacob last night, it's never pleasant to be forced off the air like that. But I think from the policing point of view, you've got to realise that they need to sort of try to make the area as sterile as possible, get those who might be in danger out of harm's way. Uh, and although it might look like you're not in danger from where you are, we just need to cast our minds back to 2017 and the terrorist attack that took place there on London Bridge. It started off as a vehicle-borne attack, that van uh, running into members of the public, then very quickly became a marauding terrorist attack with three terrorists running around the area, stabbing people. So the police never know exactly what they're dealing with until they've been able to properly assess the situation and rule out that there are no other people involved. So that's why you see, you know, quite a, a very firm uh, response from the police to create what is called a sort of an outer cordon uh, where they believe that it's safe beyond that cordon to keep people while they make sure that they have bottomed out any threats around Buckingham Palace.